Europa League's supposed to be boring. Not supposed to enjoy watching Man United play in the Europa League, but 4-0 winners away to Real Sociedad, who are also away in Turin. But happy days. Manchester United, they're runaway winners against the team. Let's be honest, when we got the draw, we were like, that's probably one of the toughest draws that we could have get at that time. Sociedad, I think they were sort of second in the Liga. Really flying high. Good team this season. But United there, very, very comfortable overall performance. The first five minutes were exactly what you would expect to see from Manchester United. Shit. United's defence, woeful. Both teams could have scored the goal within the first two minutes. And you sort of, you're wondering whether it was going to turn out into one of those nights again. But ultimately, that was a great game from United. Bruno Fernandes with two goals. Marcus Rashford with a goal. And then Dan James towards the end there. The main talking points for me are all about Rashford, all about Bruno, all about McTominay. Got to talk about Mike Bay and Maguire. Who is your man in the match? Let me know in the comments below. For me, obviously, the main talking point, you've got to talk about Bruno Fernandes. The, the, the guy is just, he's past superlatives now. There's nothing that I can say to describe Bruno Fernandes that hasn't already been said. Where would we be without Bruno Fernandes? It's incredible. His first goal, an excellent goal. I say it's an excellent goal. It was, just a, it was an excellent pass from Marcus Rashford that went through. The defence got all lost at sea. And Bruno Fernandes made no mistake. The second goal was an excellent goal. The ball was played by Rashford, came off James. It was behind Bruno, but he's, he wrapped his foot round it and just sunk it into the bottom corner. The guy scored some outrageous goals this season. It really is insane how good he is. And he just continues to deliver game after game. Doesn't matter the competition. Doesn't matter where it is. He does not care. Bruno Fernandes. Brilliant guy. Marcus Rashford, I think, is probably going to be the main talking point from tonight. Because we saw, again, Rashford sums himself up in, in every, pretty much every 90-minute performance. I could tell you two that... Like, he was put straight through, open, basically an open goal. All you got to do is choose a corner, Rashford. He didn't. He just it, he didn't really look. He just put his foot through it. And there was another occasion where he ran at the defence, kept his head down, didn't look up at the players around him, let the chance go. But Marcus Rashford leaves that game tonight with a goal and an assist. And you cannot argue with his numbers, and you cannot argue with Rashford's ability to influence games even when his finishing is so poor. Imagine what Rashford's numbers would be if Rashford was clinical. That's the element missing from his game. But remember, ladies and gentlemen, I think anyway, he's 23. Rashford is nowhere near the finished article. And as I said, you cannot argue with his numbers. And the fact that he continues to influence games, even though he's so damn frustrating to watch, he really, really is. Can't remember so many, as many United players missing so many guilt edge chances as Rashford. But he keeps scoring and he keeps bringing out assists. And that is why... Ole Gunnar Solskjaer trusts him so much. And I hope that as he gets older in his career and he, and he learns that side-footed finish that we saw for his goal, a wonderful through ball from Fred. Henderson rolling it out. By the way, Henderson, I'm sorry, man. I love De Gea for what he done for United, but Henderson, I can, I can see the future in Henderson and his gloves at United rather than De Gea. My own opinion, you might disagree. Rolls it out to Fred. Wonderful pass from Fred, who I thought had an excellent, excellent game in midfield alongside Mark Tomine, who had Mark Tomine, alongside McTominay, who had an, an outstanding game. He is not a defensive midfielder. Do not call Scott McTominay a defensive midfielder anymore. He is a central midfielder, box to box, aggressive going forward, and aggressive in his sort of uh, in sort of trying to win the ball back early, rather than somebody who sits in front of the defence like a screening midfielder like Matic. He's not a defensive midfielder, and he never should have been. And he never should be called it again. We need to sign a defensive midfielder. We don't really have one in the team. We only got Matic and he's too old. But that goal, Rashford there, opening his body up, Thierry Henry style, into the corner. Do that more often, Marcus. You are capable of it. But you just don't do it enough. And that's why people will always be frustrated. But as I said, and he keeps putting in the goals and assists, he's not going to get taken out of the team. Fantastic from him. And then Dan James coming up at the end. Fair play. Dan James is not good enough to play for United next season. I don't think he should be playing for United next season, not after we signed Diallo, who made his debut, came on, and then played on the left. A little bit disappointed there because I wanted the, wanted the kid to get his position, which is right wing, but uh, Dan James was there. Imagine that. Uh, Diallo, we've look, we, we killed that tie there. We've absolutely killed that tie, 4-0. So therefore, in the return leg, I want to see the likes of Diallo starting. I want to see the likes of Bruno Fernandes rested. Van der Beek should be starting that one. I think he was... Uh, 
muscle injury tonight. That's why him and Cavani didn't travel. But we've killed the tie, so we've given ourselves the opportunity to give these minutes to players who need them. Someone like Diallo, he certainly needs it. Now, in defence, I think the talking point is about buying Maguire. Let me know what you think about their performances. But for me, I think Maguire looked more comfortable tonight. And I do think by his presence makes him more comfortable. Because he knows if he, if he, if he balls his up, he's got cover. Uh, and that's probably not the best way to think about that as a central defensive partnership. But at the first five minutes, Bailly looked uh, a little bit drunk, a little bit hungover from the, from the night before. It, it just He was lost at sea. But he recovered, he improved, and United's defence improved. Real Sociedad, I'll be honest, they offered less going forward than I expected them to. So it was a bit of a... They weren't as threatening as I thought they would be. Uh, I'm just glad Adnan Yanez didn't score a goal, really. Really glad about that. But outstanding performance from United from front to back. I thought Tellez was good at left back. I thought Juan Misaka was probably, if you're looking at the least effective players of the game, it was probably him, but he didn't play terribly. Fred and McTominay, both individually, having good games as central midfielders. Marcus, Marcus Rashford getting a goal and assist. Bruno Fernandes getting two goals. Dan James scoring. Mason Greenwood, slightly quieter, but... 4-0, man. 4-0 and a really comfortable 4-0. Could have been more. You could always say that. United need to be more clinical. You could always say that. But it's a game where Ole Gunnar Solskjaer will be very happy with all the players. There's not one player that's going to get slated after that game. And that's deservedly so. Man of the match for me. You can't not give it to Bruno Fernandes, surely. Let me know what you think about that in the comments below. I think... McTominay played well as a central midfielder. I want to see him play that so much more often. He's so much better as a, as a box-to-box -box than he is as a defensive midfielder. Simple. And I think the same thing can be said about Fred as well. But Bruno Fernandes. Marcus Rashford is probably going to be the other main contender. Goal and an assist. But Rashford, you need to... I've, I called him a one-in-four striker. You know I called him a one-in-four striker. And I, I stand by that. And and people were, could say that... look the. the the top strikers in the world have a one in four conversion rate, but I'm talking about Marcus Rashford with your, your golden, your big chances. He's a one in four big chance striker rather than a one in four, four overall. But he got a golden assist tonight, and, and until he stops delivering those numbers, he's going to be in our starting 11 every single week, and he deserves to be. So I'm still sticking behind Rashford. I want to see him improve there overall, but if he does that, imagine what his numbers could be given how well he's done with his finishing this season. Amazing, really. But 4-0, happy days, outstanding performance for United in the Europa League in a tie where people expected us not to struggle, but certainly for it to be more competitive than a, than a whitewash 4-0. Let me know what you think about that in the comments below. Make sure you subscribe to United People's TV if you're new. But Bruno Fernandes with another two goals. I love that guy.